I need to try this with, with ketchup. <gasps> What's going on? Today, I'm gonna be cooking a 120 year old burger. It is said to be the first burger in the world. Let's start cooking. I think this is going to be the easiest and fastest burger I've ever made. We only need these few ingredients. We just need a little bit of bread, onion, tomatoes, meat, and salt. That's it. 120 years ago, somebody ran into a Louis lunch diner and asked, can you make me something quick and to go? And Louis came through. This is what he made. Let's fire up the grill. Of course we want to get as close to the authentic thing as we can, so I got one of these clams that we can clam our food in. Ooh. We can use it to recreate that burger and to toast our bread just like Louis did. And all we need to do to prepare our ingredients is to slice an onion, slice a tomato and press down on our burger patty. And when our burger patty is ready, we place on our sliced onion, toast a slice of white bread over direct heat until we get a nice golden brown crisp on the outside. And then it's time to start grilling. I kind of get that it's kind of cool to be grilling up a burger like this. It's so primal, so like minimalistic. So if it works and all the flavors come together and it's gonna be tasty, then it's really good. But the downside of this burger is already very clear. The, the crunchy bread is already becoming like really soggy. So to go, this is not a really good burger. But maybe to eat it like as it is in the lunch room, it could be a thing. Okay, it, it, it's soggy. Well, there we go, first bite. This is odd. Hmm. This is not a burger burger like you would expect it to be. I kind of like the tomato. The first bite was awesome. Then the second bite, eh, a little bit too much meat and no flavor on it. Th this, is, this is really different. Kind of missing some things, but at the same time, this is kind of like really minimalistic. This might be the first time that I actually taste a tomato on a burger. The meat itself is juicy. When you put so many ingredients on, it kind of disappears. But the salt with the tomato and onion, it's good. But here, it kind of stands out. I like this. I see how 120 years ago, this was kind of a, a cool thing. It's there. If you serve this now in a barbecue restaurant for people, they're gonna be laughing at you. Like Hul said, it's honest. I like this. I really like this. And I was hungry. Actually, I'm not bothered at all. That, that the bread is soggy. It's not like when you eat a burger, you're like, oh, oh, I'm so full, you're like fast food full. But this doesn't have that. It's simplicity at its best. This is just tasty, honest. It's more like a grilled cheese sandwich combined with a burger to enhance all the flavors that a burger has. And the funny thing is, it's kind of like the first time that you really taste the bread in a burger. I kind of like it. I would order it in a restaurant as a lunch. All this time I, th I, was, I thought, you know, this is a tourist trap. These guys haven't done anything to their recipe just because they're, I don't know, they don't wanna, they don't feel like it. And then over time when you don't feel like doing anything, you become special without doing anything. Not really a tourist trap. It's not, it's really a burger thing. This could be, this could be really a thing. I, I enjoy it. It's really good. I wonder if they evolved over time, if they changed things. Like they, in 1950, they added cheese and they decided the cheese doesn't melt, so they, they took cheese out of a jar. That, that to me was a mistake. But if they didn't make that mistake and kept the honesty and, and evolved the burger like an honest burger, what would the burger be like today? Let's go try and find out. We used all of the same ingredients, except for the white bun 
and we improve the burger by grilling it on a flat top with modern day techniques. So basically we made exactly the same burger only in a modern day jacket. We use the Camaggio Jr, put the flat top on and I think the flat top is like the epitome of modern day burgers. Which burger joint doesn't use the flat top now, right? The question is, does it make our burger taste better? Only one way to find out. Now this looks more familiar. It's still there. This is a really, really difficult decision. Still the same basic flavor. If this represents the modern day burger and the other version, the old version is the representation of a 120 year old burger. I like how the patty just got better over time. There's so much more crunch. But I do love that bread, that white bread, how crunchy that is. I'm missing it now on my bun. You know, we crispened up the bun, but it's funny how much the crust does to a burger. I don't know, it's just gone because of all the fluids from the burger ingredients. I think the best thing we learned so far from this old recipe is that cooking a burger with the onion, it's amazing. You got it back in the burger. It's like super, super crunchy in the, in the burger patty, but I lost it on the sandwich. And I kind of like that. It's like, I understood what it stood for. It's like, oh, this is like a really nice, like a lunch or breakfast light breakfast burger. It could be like the, like the light breakfast burger. Yeah, a real honest flavors. But now I do miss something. But grilling that onion with the, that meat. Mm. And the weird thing is I don't taste the tomato anymore. I'm just gonna try it with a little bit of mayonnaise. <laughs> Oh, mm. that's terrific. Nah. Just having mayonnaise on the burger doesn't make it better. But I think mayonnaise is not it. It doesn't add enough to make the burger taste better. Keeps the tomato and the onion away. It gives you a little bit of creaminess, but that's only relevant when you have multiple ingredients on it and you want to blend everything together. I need to try this with ketchup. <gasps> What's going on? Let's try some ketchup. Okay, this just a tiny drop. Mm -hmm. There's something there. It doesn't work either. Hmm. It doesn't work. Onion is still there. Nor the mayonnaise, nor the ketchup does this burger any justice. Tomato still there. And there was truly magic on the old burger. It was like epiphany, you know? How can it be that something that they created 120 years ago, we lost it and then we, I'm rediscovering it? It just has that little extra explosion. When I thought about making this video, I, I thought about tourist trap, we're gonna expose it and I ate it. And my mind like flipped 180 degrees and, and, and I came to understand that there was a magic behind that sandwich. If you miss something in this burger, just try it. Like maybe two, three drops of ketchup. Just tiny drops. But if you don't like it, just don't do it. Putting it in a modern day jacket doesn't do it justice. Maybe you guys want to give this a try though. Let me know what you think, you know? Don't judge when you didn't try it because I judged before I tried and I was wrong. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Special thank you to our patrons and YouTube members. You guys freaking rock, but you know that of course. I still check the statistic guys. Still 70% of you guys are not subscribed to this channel. What's up with that? Just hit that bell icon. Make sure you hit the notifications and make sure you sub. Well, to finish it off, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, then go make the old school burger. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's smackling. And keep on grilling burgers. It's quite weird. It's, you know, I was thinking when you talked about uh, the ketchup, you don't taste mayonnaise, uh, you don't taste the tomato anymore, right? Yeah, it's gone. Maybe that's why in the first place people were doing ketchup on their hamburgers. Because they start using different buns, maybe? Maybe they, they didn't put on any um, tomatoes anymore, they put on ketchup. 
because tomatoes are expensive, so if you're McDonald's, just leave out the tomato and you put the ketchup on, problem solved. Yeah, but it's still weird that the tomato disappeared when we used a different, I think it's the bun. I think it's the bun, because there's nothing significant different than, than the old school burger. Well, you grilled it in another way. The, 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 yeah, I, I like the old school burger because of the bun. Yeah. Because of the sandwich. I kind of like it too. And even though the bottom got real soggy, it's okay because the top is still crunchy. Yeah, that's true. I was more familiar with it because it's a, uh, it's a burger, but it, it, it just the toasted bread was something different. It's like time traveling. Yeah. You gotta enjoy the experience. Mm -hmm.